of the fives have been wearing 14 ounce gloves or 16 ounce. Now we've got 10 in the pro. 10 in the pros, but before we get there, like I said, we have our man, Crank Gamer Plays. He's getting ready to go right now. many of you know I'm going to be in Creator Clash 2. I've been training hard, but nothing can really prepare you. It feels like this is the culmination of my fitness journey. This is a whole new ballgame. Getting into the actual ring and fighting someone who's your friend, that's something I'm not used to, but I'll be ready. I know that Ethan's training very hard as well. Trust me, trust me. Here we go. And look at this fit tonight, Ethan. Hey. It's here. I'm ready. Do you have a favorite color? Goodness. I, I do. It's this color, which is amaranth. <gasps> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some good luck for you tonight. Yeah. Hopefully. So. Oh, God. I hope so. How long have you been training for? I've been training now for about nine months. So I've been making a little boxing baby in here. Um, and I'm going to give birth out there in the ring. Um, so it's going to be great. Do you think it's, you're going to win the whole thing? Uh, I hope so. We'll see what happens, I guess, in the next... Uh, 15 minutes or whatever. But. Find out if that baby's a W or an L. I hope it's a W. <laughs> well, what is your official fighting name? Do you have one yet? I don't really have an official fighting name, but I think it's kind of funny that the soft boy brand. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how soft I am, I guess. Let's go soft boy. Woo! What do you got, Esmond? Guys, I am here with a real Pokemon master. Leon Hart showing off the shoes. He's got the Hitman Chan on the robe here. Look at that. Looking good. Pokemon, Pokemon Master turning into a boxing master. How do you feel? Hey, man. It's been, uh, it's been an amazing four months uh, training for this. I feel amazing. I feel ready to go. Do you think you're going to go out there and uh, after this match, Ethan over there is going to be lamenting his loss? Oh, yes. That, that's, a, that's a pact. Absolutely. Do you have anything to say to the people watching at home? Uh, yeah. You want a Pokemon Master to win this thing? You got one right here, guys. All right. There we go. Let's see it. Let's see it indeed. The tail of the tape is there. And Charlie, Leonhardt, 10 years the senior of Ethan Nestor. Yeah. Also, Leonhardt is a big guy. He, big boy. Is, he is a big guy. He's very muscular. That's 155 with maybe like 6% body fat at most. That is a guy who's been training for a long time. And Ethan, I know, has also been getting after it extremely hard. So I'm just very excited to see how this one plays out. This one is a competitive matchup, and it is ready to get underway right now. gentlemen he's walking out to the pokemon theme song but i will tell you one thing he does not want to catch all of our hands in the ring tonight charlie ain't that the truth but wow what a beautiful little concert we were just treated to there i can't doubt anything about this man when he comes out and hit him on chan i was a fire and ice and thunder punch man myself but he's gonna need all that and more for his opponent about to make his way into the ring rank game plays
Captain Nestor, a.k.a. Crank Game Plays, friend to Markiplier, and apparently everyone in this crowd, Charlie. Oh, everyone loves Ethan out here. I can promise you that much, especially with Unis Anis. Unis Anis was an internet phenomenon. Hold on one second. You said... Unis Anus? What did you say? Yeah, Unis Anus. Oh, sorry, yeah. okay. So they made videos for a year. At the end of a year, they deleted every single one of them. People still reminisce about those days, and Ethan has branched off from then and just only grown and come up for more. Well, come up and grown into even more of a man. Brother. That's what happens when you wipe the anus. Um, Akingola now about to get our introductions. Creator Clash is sponsored by Raid Energy. For more information, visit RaidEnergy.com. Um, for our next bout, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a former attorney that quit to open Pokemon cards full time. He's a lover of shiny cardboard and the co-founder of RareCandy.com. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs 155.2 pounds. Fighting out of Maple Ave Boxing Gym in Dallas, Texas, Leon Hart! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He's a YouTuber, Twitch streamer, and general maker of weird shit online. He's a co-host of the upcoming podcast, Brain Leak, with Jack Septicai. He was the Unis of the Dead, Destroyed, and Forgotten channel, Unis Anis. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and weighs 151.4 pounds. From Portland, Maine, he is the soft boy. Gentlemen, it is time, and I can guarantee you Ethan is going to try to throw punches that are anything but soft, and a man that stands across from him, hard body, Leonhardt. Charlie, are you ready for this one? Oh, I'm ready for this one. I'm excited to see exactly what kind of energy they're going to come out with, if it's going to be more of a technical fight or what we saw more with Jarvis Johnson versus Aaron Hansen of just absolute, like, primordial, primitive brain, like, Chaos. Just pure chaos. Tony, if anything has been an indicator for Creator Clash tonight, both these guys are going to stand in the center and throw a ladder. Yeah. Really forward. They touch him up. Here we go, round one. And right away, both guys working the jab. You see Ethan, decent head movement to start here. Oh, fires off a right hand. It gets through as well. And slips out of range. Yeah, Ethan's a lot more relaxed uh, than Leonardo right now. Yeah, Leonardo a little stiff so far. He's fighting with like a sense of urgency almost. Yeah, it's like he wants to, to make sure that he establishes something quickly because it feels like Ethan is very calm and starting to be methodically pressing forward here, Charlie. Yeah, that's what it's looking like to me as well. And again, on that front foot, Tony, maybe setting up a pull, oh. but he gets caught with the right hand there. I was going to say, maybe setting up a little pull counter action, being on that front foot so heavy. Yeah, he really is. And he's really sharp with his punches. He looks very stiff, Leon Hart. Jabbing away as they both stand center of the ring. Right hand doesn't quite get through, and they clinch. They separate. Ian Hart points to the crowd and said, he hit me in the back of the head. But here we go once again. And if you are Ian Hart, you do need to relax just a little bit, because even if you're not doing a ton, being that stiff with your chin that high in the air, Ooh. Tony, it's not a good look. Yeah, neither of them big windmill punches weren't a good look either. And he takes a big, deep breath there. Maybe that's bravado, Charlie, but I'm not exactly sure what the what the goal of that is. Uh, I'm also not entirely sure either, but he's going to need to find like a. Di oh, there we go. Yeah, these are these, Ooh, these punches swing. are like big swinging windmills where you can see them coming from a mile away. You saw that one coming from uh, the Buck Stadium there, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looking like it. Oh, great right hand from Ethan. And Ethan separates once again, and, and again, Leonhardt giving him a little bit of bravado there. Swinging a miss on the right hand. Tony, you're shaking your head. Yeah, yeah, this, this technique is, is not, not the best I've seen so far tonight. Uh, he's really short with these punches, really short with his jab. If he can't land the jab, he's never going to be able to land the right hook. Oh, there's the bell. One sneaks in late there. Yeah, but there's our first round, gentlemen. Uh, Charlie, talk to me. What are you seeing? Well, I'm seeing exactly what Tony's seeing here. I, I too, have a, a trained, keen eye for, for boxing prowess, and it is looking like Leonhardt is just kind of stiff out there, very robotic. He landed a few good blows there, but there's just not a whole lot of power behind him because he's just so stiff. And right there in our raid energy replay, you see Ethan's not having a hard time getting shots through. Let's see what Leonhardt's coach has to say. I need the one-two coming behind me. 
I need it. Quit playing. No. He's not playing. No. I want you to hit him. You hit him while ago. I want you to knock the fuck out of him. For real. For real. Quit playing. He Tony, that's a boxing coach's boxing coach. Yeah, that's a proper boxing coach right there. Give him real instructions. Stop playing. Throw them straight punches. Stop swinging these windmills. Yeah. He's not fucking around. That's what he said. I caught him in the hotel uh, gym last night. And let's just say the hardest punches that Leon is, or Leonhardt's taken have been from his coach. Last night in the Pats, and he was getting worked with those. So he's got a real coach in that corner, and he's telling him, listen, you got to let him fly here. Yeah, straight punches. None of them wild hooks. And again, Ethan comes out looking at those big overhands. You know, Tony, I would say even, again, maybe a bit of a reach disadvantage there for Ethan, but he would do well to throw that right hand down the pipe instead of over the top. Definitely, yeah. The street punches get that fast, though. Oh. And again, this oh, is a big one over the top. Shots. But again, not really landing clean because they are so close, and these overhands are swinging behind the head. Straighten those bad boys out, and you'll have a far better chance of landing exactly, from either guy yeah. here. The street punch gets there way faster. And you see Leonard, he's trying. He's trying to start measuring that right hand straight. Ooh, but he's having a hard Almost. time defensively. You see that that zombified arms out defense right now, Tony. It's he's doing it well. Oh. Ethan's looking for blood right now. He is throwing some hammers for sure. And if you're Leonhardt, you got to get that guard up, not out. That's the first thing. When that chin goes up and the arms go out, it's KO City. Yeah, it certainly is, my friend. Now, Charlie, you're a big fan of the Pokemon genre. Yeah, of course. Oh, big right hand again there. Oh, and he turns his back. Oh, Shot oh, behind oh, the head. Oh, that's oh. not going to count as a knockdown. Yep. I know the crowd's going to go wild for that one, but that's not going to count as a knockdown there. We're going to call yeah. a timeout, and he's going to warn both guys about shots in the back of the head here. Now, Charlie, what I was going to say is the elements, right? You have fire, water, grass-type Pokemon, oh, electric types. Yeah. If you're Leonhard here, What's his greatest strength? What does he use to counter this big time pressure forward from Ethan? Well, probably a fighting type would be my guess. Need to have that fighting type. Hopefully not weak against the overhands because here comes some more from Ethan. Ethan is really swinging hard here. He's trying to put him to bed. He's trying to tuck him in. He said these not, these right hands are not well filled. And 10 seconds left here in this second round. We're going to find out if Ethan can land one of these big ones, and there is the end of the round. Ethan's definitely got that, that fight in him, that eye of the tiger, if you I'm like. You. you know, I'm he's really you. trying to I'm hurt the guy. He's been very respectful, touching gloves. I need but you then, to fight. When a country is trying to knock him out. Absolutely. Him. Let's take a listen in to Ethan's corner and see what they have to say. a gymnast at one point so he's got good endurance and great instincts for the sport you hear tony in the corner get under that jab then come with the right hand because right now being straight on the center line with that jab he's not building the momentum to finish that right hand Thank you for shopping, but the store is closed. Absolutely. That's it. It's over. Leonard gets wow. dropped. And that is all she wrote. You were right, Charlie. The lights were on, but no one was home. My goodness gracious. What a right hand and follow up from Ethan Nestor. Wow. Wow, he set up perfectly. Perfectly. Just as we were saying it, Tony, you dip under that jab and Lynn absolute hellfire behind a right hand there to start yeah. the beginning of the end. Great work for Mason. What a killer. What a killer. And I think you nailed it, Charlie, when you said, listen, th this guy looks so calm and collected. And then when that bell rang, it was like he switched it on. Jab. Look at the high guard. Double touch with the jab. Bang. Ooh. On the ear. Beautiful shot in our Fansley slam cam. And again, you see it from a different angle. Massive shot, and Leonhardt had never been hit like that. 
The follow-up came behind it. Another big shot right behind the ear. And that was all she wrote. Crank game plays your winner. And to the ring we go with the official decision is Akinola. What a match from our two competitors. The referee has stopped the match. The referee has stopped the match. I can't hear anything. The referee stopped the match at 26 seconds left in the third round. The winner of the match by TKO, Ethan Nestor. He is fired up, Ethan Nestor with a win, and he is with our in-ring interviewer, Chills. <laughs> Ethan, you just won your first boxing match. And listen to the crowd. You have a ton of supporters here. What would you like to say to all your supporters here? Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos. This is so fucking surreal. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much. Is he gone? Uh, thank you so much to Lee. Like, I could not ask for a better uh, competitor. This was so amazing. We both worked our asses off. There's so many people online that doubt influencer boxing because you think that we're just YouTubers, but we're, and we are, uh, but we work our asses off. Uh, so if you want to talk shit, get in the ring. Because <laughs> we all, we all work so hard. Like every single fighter, win or lose, work their asses off. And I have so much respect for every single person that stepped in this ring. Ethan, tell us what is next for you with boxing? Uh, I'm going to the Bahamas, and I'm going to get drunk um, and probably smoke a bunch of weed. <laughs> <laughs> Boxing-wise, I'm still definitely going to continue to train. We'll see. Maybe I'll come back next year, but, um, you know, just going to take it chill for a sec. Congratulations. Let's give it up for your winner, Ethan Nestor. Hi, goodness, gentlemen. The crowd favored on the night, no doubt about it. Ethan Nestor. What a massive victory, Charlie. Yeah, absolutely. I think he shocked a lot of people out there because everyone knows him as just like a really kind-hearted gentleman. And then he acted like the fucking butcher out here, just chopped Leon Hart up. It was brutal. Kind-hearted, but took it to Leon Hart. Tony, tell me what you saw there, man. Technically, a solid guy. Yeah, he was. He was working behind his job, looking for the looking for the right hand. And yeah, he's, he's calling the coach, giving him some great advice. And he took that advice on board. He did it, and then we seen that fight end. Absolute massive win, but coming up still, we have our co 